I mean, the Mystery Series has really been a big deal because it's a, an international snowboard event in a municipal park in the middle of the city. It actually has re-energized our snowboard community. There are lots of passionate people in the spaces that we're in. When you have a passion for whatever it is, snow sport or biking and those things, the ability to be in community and then give back and figure out how you can make a living giving back. Even with the kids that, that we're coaching with, that's the goal for them, is to get them excited about a life where they give back. We call it Melanin in Motion Family Fridays at Troll. And so every week, we are at Troll Hogging and we offer introductory lessons, we offer advanced lessons, um, but really we offer an opportunity for families to grow together um, when they're snowboarding. What we've seen has been interesting is that families are growing and returning year after year. So it may be a start with a child because parents always want their child to have great experiences and then we convince the parents, well you should be doing this with them, right? And so they've been growing. And now, like tonight, we had 89 people sign up, but we only had 25 people in lessons. So we've got, you know, you know, a little 54 people in the park on their own signed up out here snowboarding. And so that's what we see is that the community of people that show up and see snowboarding as what they do to enjoy winter is growing. We want to lose the ability to predict the race, gender, ethnicity, income, educational level of the next snowboarder that comes down that hill. And that's our goal. And, and that's a simple measure of what we do. So again, now we ask who's not on the hill. So the program is designed to attract women, attract girls, attract low to moderate income families, people of color, you know, to this and to the benefits for us being outdoors, us being active and us being in community. So. We have to make those benefits available to everybody. Okay, so I, this is my only group now. You got one, two, three, you got, you have a couple more over here. Part of it when you're starting with a new learner is like to give, it's really to give them the confidence, no, the universe wants you to snow more. So let me show you the things that your instinct is gonna tell you to do, and then I'm gonna give you something else. And that way, they don't think that I have to be a great athlete because the whole world, their whole lifetime has said athletes are born. And I'm saying, nope, snowboarders are made, right? Snowboarders, you can learn to snowboard. You can, I'm gonna teach you, I'm gonna show you, and if you do this thing, you'll get better and better and better. And then the question is, if you get better and better and better, you like yourself? Absolutely, so that's the point, right? That it's a way you, you teach, you let people find a progression where they see themselves grow, and that's the trick. Building community is always the outcome, but the vehicle is snowboarding. The vehicle is, you know, the lessons. The vehicle is learning to be a coach. Um, but really, right, building community is always there. Melanin in Motion is really a small program inside of a very large and very successful snowboard community here in Minneapolis and St. Paul. I mean, we have some great snowboarding going on here and great snowboarders come out of here, but even they aren't connected. And, and what we were able to do uh, with Melanin in Motion, bringing the Mystery Series here, is actually reconnected those snowboarders to Theodore Worth Park. So now our community at Highland, our community at Troll, our community at Elm Creek, our community at Buck showed up at the Mystery Series. And them dudes never see each other together, you know? The bank slalom itself, like, totally shocks people into finding something out about themselves. But my favorite moment in the Mystery Series is Zeb helping this young snowboarder who had never done a rail before get up and over. And it was just that first rainbow, right? And when we're looking at snowboarding at such a high level all the time, we forget. It's like an amazing accomplishment. <laughs> 